Uh, did you know that in some cultures, older women are paying for dates? Yes, you heard it right. Please watch to the end, last part will shock you. In this world where the conventional dating norms are being questioned and redefined, there exists an intriguing sphere of paid dating. This isn't your typical sugar daddy scenario, oh no. This is about mature women who are willing to shell out for the pleasure of companionship, and it's more common than you might think. Imagine a marketplace, but instead of goods you have dates for sale. This may seem unconventional, even bizarre to some, but it's a reality in many parts of the world. We're about to delve deep into this fascinating phenomenon, exploring seven countries where these dating dynamics are particularly prevalent. From the land of the rising sun to the heart of Europe and even down under, this is a journey that promises to both enlighten and surprise. So buckle up because we're about to embark on a fascinating journey through the world of paid dating. But wait, before we begin, please subscribe to ensure that you never miss out on any of my crucial stuff. Comment, I subscribe below and I will personally welcome you to our community. Let's get started. First on our list is Japan, a country well known for its unique and sometimes surprising cultural practices. Nestled in the heart of Asia, Japan is a land of contrasts, where traditions and modernity intermingle in fascinating ways. One such example is the phenomenon known as compensated dating. Compensated dating, or enjo kosai as it is called in Japan, is a practice where individuals, often older women, pay for the company of a younger person. It's not always about romance, mind you. Sometimes it's simply about companionship, a listening ear or a shoulder to lean on. But let's not sugarcoat it, there's a transactional element involved. To give you an idea of just how prevalent this is, a survey conducted in the early 20s revealed that nearly one in three Japanese women in their 40s and 50s admitted to participating in compensated dating. That's a staggering percentage considering the population of the country. And it's not just in the bustling metropolis of Tokyo. Compensated dating is a nationwide occurrence, stretching from the snowy landscapes of Hokkaido in the north to the tropical beaches of Okinawa in the south. It's a practice deeply rooted in the country's social fabric, a testament to the changing dynamics of relationships in the land of the rising sun. But why do these women opt for compensated dating? Well, there are myriad reasons. For some, it's about fighting loneliness. For others, it's a way to reclaim their youth. Some see it as a form of empowerment, a way to take control of their lives and relationships. But no matter the reason, it's an undeniable part of modern Japanese society. As we delve deeper into this topic, it's important to remember that the dating scene varies vastly from country to country, culture to culture. What might seem unusual to some may be commonplace to others. It's all about perspective. So, that's Japan, where the dating scene is a little more transactional than you might expect. But as we'll see in the scenes to come, Japan is not alone in this unique approach to dating and relationships. Next, we cross the Pacific to the United States, the land of opportunity and, as it turns out, sugar mamas. The term sugar mama is a cultural coinage referring to older, affluent women who offer financial support or gifts to younger men in exchange for companionship or romantic involvement. This phenomenon is not an accident, but rather a result of various cultural and societal factors. America's capitalist society, known for its work-hard, play-hard ethos, has birthed a generation of successful women who, after years of climbing the corporate ladder, now find themselves in a position of financial power. These women, often single or divorced, are seeking companionship and romance, but their hectic lifestyles leave little time for traditional dating. Enter the concept of sugar dating. It's a pragmatic solution in a fast-paced world where time is increasingly valued. It allows these women to enjoy the company and affection of younger men, often in exchange for financial support or gifts. This trend, while controversial to some, is in many ways an expression of the American dream. It's a narrative of self-made success and the freedom to pursue happiness in whatever form it may take. The sugar mama phenomenon in its own unique way is an embodiment of this dream and that's the American twist on paid dating where sugar mamas reign supreme. Our next stop is Germany, right in the heart of Europe. A fascinating place with a rich history and vibrant culture. But there's another aspect of this nation that's equally intriguing. The unconventional dating scene where older women are not shy about footing the bill. Germany's liberal and open-minded attitude towards relationships and dating has given rise to this unique trend. 
It's a place where love is not confined to traditional norms and expectations. It's a place where love is an adventure and sometimes adventures come with a price tag. In this realm of romantic transactions, age is just a number and love is a game where the rules are constantly being rewritten. These mature women with their life experiences and wisdom are choosing to redefine the dating landscape. They are the ones setting the pace, calling the shots and yes, picking up the tab. But why is this happening? Some say it's about control, others say it's about companionship, but many agree that it's about challenging societal norms and breaking free from traditional gender roles. It's about embracing the freedom to choose who they date and how they date. In Germany, this trend of older women paying for dates is not seen as a taboo, but rather a reflection of the country's progressive attitude towards relationships. It's a place where love and money can coexist, where the lines between romance and transaction are blurred. So in Germany, love might just have a price tag attached. Now let's head to the African continent, specifically to Nigeria, a country known for its vibrant culture, pulsating music and mouth-watering cuisine. But today we peel back the layers to delve into a burgeoning trend in Nigeria's dating scene, older women paying for dates. In this West African powerhouse, conventional norms are being challenged and the dating game is morphing into something quite intriguing. Older women, often successful and financially stable, are opting to pay for dates with younger men. It's a trend that mirrors the shift in gender roles and societal norms that Nigeria is currently experiencing. For centuries, the societal expectation was that men, as the breadwinners, would foot the bill for dates. But as women climb the corporate ladder and shatter glass ceilings, they're not just bringing home the bacon, they're also cooking it, serving it, and yes, even paying for it. This trend isn't just about money though, it's about power dynamics, independence and a break from tradition. Older women paying for dates is a testament to their hard-earned financial freedom and a nod to their desire for companionship on their own terms. Yet it's not all smooth sailing. This shift in dating norms has sparked debates about gender roles, financial independence and societal expectations. But these conversations are necessary for evolution and growth. That's Nigeria for you, where the dating game is being flipped on its head. A testament to the changing times and a nod to the evolution of societal norms and gender roles. Before we continue, can I beg a little favor? If you're liking what you're hearing, show us some love by pressing that like button. And hey, if you want to be in the loop for our fantastic upcoming videos, make sure to press subscribe and ring that bell so you're always in the know. Oh, and one more thing, drop a quick I subscribe down in the comments and I'll make sure to offer you a warm welcome to our amazing family. All right, enough of that. Let's keep the conversation flowing. Next up is Italy, a country synonymous with romance and love. Now let's take a detour from the cobblestone streets of Rome and the gondolas of Venice. We're diving into a less known yet increasingly prevalent phenomenon, older women paying for dates. In the land where love is often pictured as a serenade under a balcony or a stolen kiss in a hidden piazza, this might seem like a stark contrast to the traditional Italian love story. However, as we peel back the layers of the romanticized Italy, we find that the concept of amore is not as simple as it seems. In recent years, there has been a rise in older, successful women looking for companionship, and they're willing to pay for it. These women are often affluent, independent and seeking meaningful connections that go beyond the constraints of age. This trend, however, is not without its critics. Many argue that it challenges the country's conventional views on love and relationships, but it's essential to remember that love in all its forms is a personal journey. And if paying for a date is part of that journey for some, then who are we to judge? So let's lift our glasses of Prosecco and toast to these women who are redefining love in their own terms. Because after all, amore knows no bounds. So even in Italy, the land of passion and romance, love might come with a cost. And last but not least, let's head down under to Australia. Known for its sun-kissed beaches and laid-back lifestyle, Australia also has a rather interesting twist on dating. Here we find a trend of older women, or sugar mamas, willingly paying for dates. This isn't about desperation, it's about choice, empowerment and a no-fuss approach to relationships. In Australia, older women paying for dates is seen as a reflection of the country's open-minded attitude towards dating. These women, confident and successful, are simply looking for companionship on their own terms. They're rewriting the conventional rules of dating, challenging stereotypes, and embracing their desires without fear of judgment. 
In this land where everything is no fuss, love is no exception. The Australian dating scene is all about equality, choice and mutual respect. It's about recognizing that love and companionship have no age limit and that everyone deserves to find their own slice of happiness. And that concludes our journey through the world of paid dating, ending in Australia where love, like everything else, is no fuss. So there you have it, seven countries where older women are shaking up the dating scene by paying for dates. From the sunlit shores of Australia to the bustling streets of Japan, the American dream to the European heartland, and even the African powerhouse, we've seen how love and relationships can take on diverse forms. Each culture adding its unique twist to the age-old quest for companionship and connection. Remember, love knows no bounds. And as we've seen today, it also knows no price.